you say in your book um, that in times of great change, the beginner's mind has the advantage. So in this current climate, I guess, if, if you're a beginner in understanding Bitcoin, even right now, um, it, actually, what, based on what you've just said, it means absolutely nothing. The fact that the price is what it is and it used to be a lot cheaper, that doesn't matter, right? Because, so so, so it, it's so really important how early we are. If the world's wealth today is 900 trillion, that means it, no matter what you denominate the denominator in, if you keep changing that, right, and the wealth goes bigger, but it's fake wealth, it's paper wealth, That's right. right, then then your ability to live in that system is based on this de de denominator uh, changing. But the, if you just took today and said today it's about 900 trillion, of which 400 trillion is insolvent debt, that entire system, I believe, is going to be repriced into Bitcoin in time, as long as Bitcoin stays decentralized and secure. And you could do the work that I have to be able to essentially assign probabilities to that staying true. And my probabilities, I used to have kind of a 5% probability that something could break it. Now my probability is, is probably under 0.1%. Something, uh, something could break it. So if that stays true, and it's going to reprice everything. And probably a simple thing, I, I did this on Peter McCormick's show and, and some people, uh, it, it helped them understand what was happening. 